this is how to replace your pull string on a Briggs and Stratton Platinum seven and a quarter horsepower. Oh, bitch! And luckily, for convenience sake, it's riveted on. So in their infinite wisdom, they knew that each and every one of us would have some uh, rivets in a, in a rivet puller handy. But now that we're down to the fan shroud, we'll just go ahead and let's take the whole thing off. So I'm going to go ahead and take the dipstick loose so I don't have to keep up with all that. And now... We're ready to work. Alright, so here is the end that broke off. Alright, so if you pull the rope out this way, that means that tightening the spring is clockwise and it'll recoil on its own. So the way I get the estimate is how many turns I need to do. I'll take the rope I want to install. And I just guess how many turns. There's one, two, three, four, five. Then add a couple for tension. So anywhere from six to seven full revolutions of this thing. And I'll use that as the guide. So. One, two, three, Oop. cut myself on the sheet metal, you see that, be careful, I just cut myself on the sheet metal, what was that, three, uh oh, oh what the fuck. Turns out my spring was already broken. All we can do now is try to rebend a spring into existence. So let's see if we have any part of this naturally here. There we go. So that hook might fit in right there. We'll just like that you don't want to get this pulled out too far because it'll be a complete and total biatch to put back together so the name of the game is we're going to get this right here hooked on that right there it's not all right so what i've done is i've taken my pliers and i've bent that down so when it sits it sits almost right next to the thing and that way I can get my hook to grab like that now I'm going to put these legs back on I have to line these pegs up in these slots so they turn test the functionality like so the spring feels good now we will do our five to six turns again will the notch with that hole be one it's one two three four, five, and one to grow on. That's the five or six turns. Now, you take that hole and you line it up right there. To hold it in place, get a tool or something, 
then I'm just going to use my my pliers right like that and then I'll feed the rope through there all right I melted the fuzzies off make it easier to go in here Let's see a little twist Grab that thing. See the old knot. The old knot is just a little granny. So it was, if it was adequate before, it'll be adequate again. Install the granny. Pull it tight. And let's see if I did good with my cord. Okay. There we go. So we pull it, the teeth still come out, it retracts. Fairly strong. And that was just with one turn over the length. Now let's uh reinstall it on this beast all right the most important step of this repair is to fix whatever the initial problem was that caused you to pull on the pull cord so hard that you ripped it out and for this mower it was the carburetor was full of water so I went ahead and drained that since I have it uh, open and easily accessible I should have showed it to you all but I forgot let's just go ahead and Reinstall this puppy. Right, screw down the oil cap again. So this bolt has this little spacer that goes in there. And it has this long bolt with the rubber. Now we install these three bolts with little spacers. You have the vanity cover 